Hi everyone, uh, here we're going through uh, the steps involved to uh, get the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle using what's known as Pi the Pythagoras theorem or Pythagoras theorem. So uh, here's the theorem itself which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared and C always being the hypotenuse uh, side of the right angle triangle which is the longest side. So just bear that in mind. So here we're going to apply this formula now to an example we're going to use here. So in this case, we'll, we'll use the example. The shortest side on that right angle triangle will be three and the next uh, longest side will be four. And uh, I'm just going to take you through the steps here now uh, to and how to apply that formula using your scientific calculator. So if you um, enter your short side, which is three, and then hit what's called the uh, x square button there on your calculator it's just highlighted there now in yellow and that is squared for in other words you're multiplying three by itself which of course we know is nine and then hit the plus symbol and then again hit the x square button there on your calculator and then don't forget to hit the equals um, yeah and you'll get 25. so obviously the hypotenuse can be 25 of course because that'd be way too long a common sense will tell you looking at the right angle triangle there's no way it's 25 so you what you'll now have to do is your the answer you've got you'll have to get the square root of that answer so um we go through that process here now on the calculator so um again just uh hit the square root symbol there highlighted in yellow hit 25 hit the equal sign and there's your answer 5 so that tells us that the hypotenuse on this particular right angle triangle is 5